Technology can make us do things that we never thought possible. We want to work on the biggest, hardest, most complex problems. We need to be thinking about how technology will invigorate our infrastructure from year to year, not decade to decade. As Abraham Lincoln said, you can't predict the future, but you can make it. And what we want is for everybody to come along on this voyage as we make our future. I worked with a lot of engineering firms and a lot of engineers. Every one of them always had an idea that looked innovative, but to a lot, innovation is risk. There was probably something that could have been such a step change forward in progress that it just never saw the daylight. Now with technology, you can plan it, design it, and construct it virtually and then understand through analytics, is it going to accomplish what we want? So there's never a bad idea now. There needs to be a change in philosophy from this is why you can't do a project to this is why you can. What we have is the standard of practice versus the standard of capable or possible. There is so much more we can leverage to do these faster, better, well, still meeting all the requirements of environmental and social needs. A lot of other countries have made that move forward. For example, the UK has a building information model, a BIM standard, because they say if we're gonna have any money spent on them, we want the people doing the work to use the best tools available. Not the stuff they did 50 years ago, but the models that now know we can do a lot of analytics on. And all the engineering and construction firms can do this but they are tied to the contract. And if the contract says you'll do it this way, that's the way you do it. My ideal world would be a data-driven or a fact-based view of infrastructure. Convert the conversation from cost to investment. You know, step back and say, as an investment, if we're gonna spend a trillion dollars, what, what should we expect to get for it as taxpayers? These systems are not, you build it once and walk away. Like, no different than painting your house, you have to make it an ongoing management of it. And at some point, our infrastructure is going to start to wake up. It's going to start saying, I've got a problem. In some cases, it could possibly, with the right level of artificial intelligence, tell what the problem is. Over time, we helped future-proof these designs so that the problems work themselves out. 